Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own Wanda 17 Minecraft server and play with your friends or anybody. So basically as you can see it's the Wanda 17 snapshot. Here you have the bundle, you have uh, everything, the spyglass. Um, and this can be your friend, basically anyone can log into uh, this uh, Minecraft uh, server. Here you have the new blocks, the amethyst and the copper block. So in this video I'm gonna show you guys everything. So follow the tutorial and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, create a folder anywhere uh, you want in your computer. Um, so it's currently an empty folder and uh, you need to go to this website called mcversions.net. Um, here you need to select the latest snapshot uh, when I'm playing. Um, this is currently the latest uh, snapshot. If you're watching this later, uh, this video is still, uh, still gonna work. Uh, you just need to download a newer version. So you click download and now uh, here you click uh, download server jar. Okay, so I already uh, made it to go into uh, my folder where I want it to be. Um, so it's downloading. Okay, and as you can see, it's here the server that uh, jar. Now uh, you just uh, need to type Minecraft server download uh, to Google, and here you have uh, the first website that comes is um, you open it. And here is the official uh, Minecraft website. So basically, uh, this is um, here they put uh, the newest release versions, but we don't need that. We just need uh, this line. Um, so first, here you need to create a new uh, document, like start that takes t, um, and you can open it. I use PSPad, but you can use anything you want. So you need to copy this line of um, um, command and just paste it here. It's very important thing. So the name of this server, the jar, uh, you need to so. Uh, you need to replace this with the server that jar. So what's the uh, yeah, uh, jar's name is, you need to put that here. Okay, so uh, I saved it and now I can close it. Now uh, you need to make this to a, that bat file. So you just uh, clear that, that text and um, write start that bat. Okay. And it's done. Uh, you can check it, add, edit this so if yeah, um, it's working correctly. And you just need to double click. Uh, this black window will show up um, and it will generate all the um, files. So you, you uh, maybe you need to. Uh, wait for okay it, it are generated so it's okay it stops uh, so it generated the these files you need to open aula.txt and um, you, you need to read the minecraft aula uh, but i already read that so uh, i can change it, it to throw Okay, so when it's done, uh, it, are, it also generated the server that the properties file. Um, here you can edit a lot of things, but I won't go, I won't say everything about these. So now I just need to start this again. Uh, while it's uh, starting, 
You need to open the official or basically any Minecraft launcher you want. Um, and you need to take a snapshot, so uh, it's uh, unticked um, but, uh, in, by default, but you can take it and create a new installation and uh, just select latest snapshot. It's very important the uh, version need to match the server's version. Okay, I already have a, a snapshot um, instance, so I just click play and it will launch up uh, Minecraft. Okay, when the server size uh, done, um, you can join to, join to the server basically. Um, so I will just go here. Um, multiplayer, direct, direct connection, and you need to type in localhost. Basically, you only you can only type localhost when your uh, the server is running or this computer. Uh, for other computers, um, you need to um, uh, port forward, but I will explain that a little later. So now uh, you are connecting the server. Uh, it may take a while, but uh, it will launch up. Okay, it's encrypting. Um, so I will wait a little. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot uh, one thing. So basically, uh, I already uh, port forwarded uh, my IP address. Uh, and for me, it's uh, not the default like uh, this. So this is the default. Um, so you can, if you are, you are port forwarded to this, you can just basically uh, join that localhost. But I port forward it to um, uh, this this port, so I had to type localhost that um, two five five six four. So that's uh, that's why I I couldn't join um, earlier. So as you can see, it's running one that seventeen server. I can even open myself like this. OP Combix, my name. Um, and now I can um, use uh, everything like the new um, menu or the social interactions um, page. Um, as you can see, here are the new uh, stuffs like Amethyst or copper um, like this copper ore um, lightning rod and uh, this kind of stuff um, so here um, I have the copper ore the amethyst the lightning rod um, some copper stairs I even have the spyglass um, and I have the bundle um, so yeah that's uh, pretty cool that's how you set up a 1.70 Minecraft server but uh, basically there are uh, one uh, very important there is one very important thing uh, and that uh, basically you have to port forward um, your IP address and you may ask uh, how do you do that how can I port forward my uh, IP address to um, basically play with friends or um, something um, it's not, not very easy so I suddenly can show it in the video but I will link a very useful tutorial in the description made by the breakdown it's a um, really uh, cool minecraft channel makes uh, tutorials 
Uh, so I will link uh, his video in the description how to forward, uh, port forward your IP address. Uh, and then basically you just uh, you have a working Minecraft 1.17 server. Um, yeah. Uh, keep in mind uh, this is a snapshot server, so you can't use plugins or mods on this server. Um, when the full release, like 1.17.1, and um, these uh, release versions come, uh, you, you can use the plugins and when basically bucket and spigot updates. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think I I made the video very clear, so I hope you enjoyed it, if you liked it, please consider subscribing, and uh, bye bye.